Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I'm going to show you how to install the Q1E uh, driver for Gravistyle. These are the two files that I'm going to send you. One is a Mac file and the other one's a PDF. Sometimes I'll have it in a zip folder, but I'm going to take this file, go edit, and I'm going to copy it. And hopefully I can get to my C drive here. And I'm going to go into Gravistyle, and you go into Post Pro, and then Edit and Paste. Okay, and since it wasn't there, obviously didn't replace anything. I've already got Gravistyle running here, and now I'm going to go under Machining, Set Up Machines, and right now I have an IS600 and, an, and a Vanguard 3400, but I want to add a machine, so I click on the plus, click on the plus for all kinds of machines, and then scroll down and you'll see an order is the Q3X controller. Click on add. Now you can have it send to whatever um, loaded printer that you have. You can click on generic text only and then say OK and then make the size of whatever your machine limits are so let's say it's a 12 by 20 uh, so I'm gonna go 12 here and plus 12 and 20 and 20 and I'm not sure maybe it has to go the other way and then I'm gonna say OK and then close and then yes so if I go and set up machines and I look at this, uh, right mouse click, I can go to properties, I can see that everything is set. Although the 12 and 20 might be off. So what I want to do now is I want to take this job and I want to see what the output is. Well first of all I'm going to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to just have it be one, two, three. Actually, I'm going to make it one, 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 one. That way, there's not a lot of data here. And I'm going to go machining. And I want to send it to port. And I'm going to go to the Q3X controller. Send it. I'm sorry. Send it to test. Make sure that you're in the corner. Maybe kick the speeds up. It really doesn't matter because it's sending it to a test file. But it's always nice to put in values here. Maybe you want to go 20,000 steep, you want your clearance to be 10, and then you click on OK so that it kind of saves it, and then click on Run. And what it will do is it will give you this file. And this is the file that I need. So you could just swipe through it, right mouse click, go to Copy, and by whatever means go to notepad and then hit control V and then you're gonna save it and you click on save and I'm gonna save it in my one logos uh, delete delete soon and this is just 111 on a 2x6 tag uh, with Q3X driver. So whatever you, you name it, something of this nature, that way you'll know what it is. And then you could even say GS98 or Gravistyle 5 or whatever you're doing. And then just click on save. Okay, and then I can just close that out. Now whatever you do to to make this into Braille, you're gonna do the same thing. You're going to machining and whatever you did to make it braille again send it to port and then tell it run and of, of course it's going to be a little bit different output right mouse click you're going to copy it you're going to close this start notepad notepad might be in programs uh, accessories or better yet you can go uh, just go to run and just type in note notepad and it will bring it up and then of course you can hit control V or you can go under edit and paste of course it put it in a second time 
and then you're going to save this as maybe the Braille output so that I can take this data, copy it to an SD card and put it in my controller and see how it runs. So I don't need to save that. So again, what you're going to do, you're, it, you can also, if you, you're getting any conflict issues, you can go to Start, Settings, go to your Printers and Faxes, and if you don't want to touch your generic text-only printer, uh, you can just right mouse click or you can just go add a printer here. And then just click on next. And it's going to be a local printer. Don't worry about plug and play. Click on next. And then you can come down here, click on file so that it's going to send to a file. Click on next. You're going to go down to generic, generic, generic text only. Next. Uh, keep existing uh, driver. And then just call this uh, something like gen text to file. Something like that so that at least you know what it is. And I'm going to shorten this up just a little bit. Just put the number two. So it's a generic text to file. And no, don't make it my default printer. Click on next. Uh, do not share it. And no, you don't want a test page. And next and finish. So you could have done this at the beginning. And now you can see somewhere in here is generic text to file. Now, had you printed a port, it would have asked you for a file name. So come up in Gravistyle, Machining, uh, Set Up Machines, click, right mouse click, Properties, Output, and now that Gen, gen Text to File, say OK and OK. And now when I go to send this, click on Close, Machine, Machining, if I put it to Port, and I say oh, run it should bring up a dialog box print to file here and I have to give it a name I don't know, Fred's file and I'm not sure exactly where it puts it but I would guess somewhere on my hard drive my computer C drive and hit F3 and go Fred's and then it's a I think it would be a TXT file and when was it modified certainly within the last week and search and as that's doing that I'm going to kind of look on my desktop to see if it's a, if it put it on my desktop or my documents you know what, I really don't know where it would have gone to, but I know it plotted it somewhere to the computer. I would have thought it would have uh, gave me a choice there. And possibly I could find that out by going to settings, printers and faxes, uh, gen text, right mouse click, go to properties, properties, uh, port, Going to file, configure port, sharing advanced. Not sure where it would have gone. Anyways, hopefully that'll.